Welcome everyone to the House of More Politics. Take a listen to what Don King had to say when he was campaigning for Donald Trump in Ohio. You got to try to emulate and imitate the white man and then you can be successful. So we tried that. So you say, if you can get some money, you can do this yet. I told Michael Jackson, I said, if you're poor, you are a poor Negro. I would use the N-word. But if, you, if you're if rich, you are a rich Negro. If you are intelligent, intellectual, you're an intellectual Negro. If you are dancing and sliding and gliding, nigger, I mean, ne Negro, <laughs> you are dancing and sliding and gliding, Negro. So dare not alienate because you cannot assimilate. So, you know, you're going to be a Negro till you die. Okay, now real quick. All right. Don King just used the N-word when he was trying to describe. What he was saying was, back in the, the, uh, the 60s, when, like he said, he was talking to Michael Jackson at the time or whatever. He's saying, hey, no matter what, because, like, people were telling him that you need to emulate the white man back in the 50s and 60s. So he's saying that that black people tried that. And, you know, Don King was saying, hey, it doesn't matter because you're going to be whatever you're going to be no matter what you are. If you're rich, you're going to be a rich N-word. If you're poor, you're going to be a poor N-word. If you're a dancing, sliding, whatever N-word, you're going to be a dancing, sliding, whatever N-word. No matter what you're going to be, you're going to be an N-word. So quit trying to be something that you're not and just be who you're going to be. I think that's what he was trying to get across. But yeah, he used the N-word. It's Don King. Okay, and he's campaigning for Donald Trump. Hey, I will tell you this. For a long time, I used the N-word, especially when I was younger. I used the N-word for a long time. It was it was a part of it became a part of who I was. It was part of our vernacular. It was the way we talked. That's it, it, coming from where I came from. That's that's it was just normal language. The older I got, the more I realized the meaning behind the word, e either with the the e r, the a, the u h, whatever you want to put at the end of it. I, I, I started to understand what that word really meant. I don't care what you put at the end, uh, the back of it. So I myself personally, I stopped using it. I say, hey, that's not who I am. That's not who I want to be addressed as. And that's not who I'm going to address my fellow my, my fellow brother or my fellow man as. So by me not using that word, and I would tell my brothers and whoever, hey, look, that's not who I am, so don't call me that. So, and I won't address you that way. So it is what it is. But I'll say this. The reason why everybody laughed there was back in high school when I was using that word. And I know some of my friends, they watched this YouTube uh, clip. They'll, they'll probably remember this, but we're all sitting around and, you know, it's a mixture. We, you know, we had black kids, white kids. We just one big JROTC conglomerate of, uh, of friends. And we had this one, this one white guy with us. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm pretty sure he's, uh, he's out there. Hey, I miss you, brother. But, uh, we all saying N word, this N word. And he had heard that word so many times from us, coming from us so many times. One day we sitting around talking and he was like, oh, Blank, please. And we all stopped and we looked at him. Then we looked at each other and just started laughing. And we was like, hey man, look, we can't get upset with you because we use that word around you all the time. So there's no way for us to get mad at you for using it when we've used it. So, and, that, and I think that's why you saw the, the brother in the back, uh, the bald head brother in the back laughing, Don King, uh, Don, Donald Trump, uh, cracked a smile everybody laughed because he did slip up I mean this is an 84 year old man who came from the streets who made a lot of money and who still got ties to the streets so he's gonna that word may slip he may still use that word in everyday language so me personally don't see anything wrong with it it's Don King he slipped up said something everybody had a chuckle he was trying to get his point across even though his point was incoherent because just just to, to get a full context of what he was talking about i went back and read an actual transcript of what he was saying before and after and it was all incoherent he made absolutely no sense so the whole thing was incoherent but what do you guys think 
leave a comment below subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about Don King let me know what you think about the channel and this is the next episode guys peace